Hey, this interview is brought to you by our good folks at Imperial Extractions, ladies and gentlemen. Now, check this out. If you want a free two gram pre roll delivered right to your door, they got you. Go get a free two gram THCA diamond infused pre roll with any order right now. We're talking about one and a half grams of top shelf flour and a half a gram of pure THCA diamonds. Imperial Extraction.com, promo code bootleg, and you're going to get this for free delivered right to your door. Let's get to the interview. What's your favorite Disney movie of all time? Um, the Little Vampire. The li- oh, you're talking about, um, I don't know The Little Vampire. Tra- Transylvania? It's kind of old. It's about the kids. I think he stays in Switzerland or some shit. But in the, vamp- the little. It's a Disney movie? I watched it on Disney when I was little. Oh, shit. So we're like far apart in age. Well, not too far. 12 years. I don't age myself too much, but when I was growing up, it was Lion King, Aladdin, Toy Story. Those were the ones. Wait, so Toy Story, they old? Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) I apologize, man. No disrespect. No, it's all good. I'm old as fuck. I get it. I'm washed, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Toy Story's that old, the first one at least. I hope well, so I how's the bread? Whatever he you is. So no. Do you wanna you wanna wear the hat? The first Toy Story came out probably when I was like, I wanna say like eight years old. Maybe nine. So it's definitely old school, but I don't know. Um You got it? Go put it on, man. Show everybody my fucked up hair. You've been a bully. He's fine. Babies are gonna baby, man. For you, man, talk about fatherhood and how, uh, you know, obviously you do have a lot of children. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Um, not really big on it, to be honest. What do you mean by that, you're not big on it? Like you're, in a, you're I mean, you're a family man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only out. I'm only like in here because you here. Oh, well, I don't see, believe it's a crazy topic because I'm not the type like the sugar coat nigga. But I'm four walls all day, every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Just honed in on the music, mm-hmm. recording. Yeah. You can take the hat. I don't mind. We bond. We bond a lot, but we're mostly literally inside. Working. No. No matter if I'm watching TV, I'm just sitting there all day. I'm stuck inside just one room. I don't really travel this house like that. So even in your own home, you'll be stuck in one room. Man, I don't know. Like, he wants the hat, he can take the man, hat. Jason, he's the Let him take the hat. He wants it, he can have it. Um, so even at home, you, I mean, obviously we're in a beautiful house right now, You're, you have a beautiful home. You'll still kind of just stick to one room in the house. Yeah. What do you think, um, why is that you think, man? I don't know. I'm, I would say I'm like, I, I ain't, I wouldn't say I'm going through a lot. I'm just me. Do you find yourself, you know, I've heard you refer to the music as, as therapy. I am going to need this hat actually, because this is, this is bright. Um, do you feel like being alone in your thoughts is a form of therapy for you? It's kind of my way of staying sane. Being by yourself, being secluded, relaxing. Is it watching TV? Is it writing? Is it? I don't do no writing. Um, yeah, watching TV up in a video game. What is your go-to movie TV show? Like, what about TV shows? Like, what are you watching? What are you binge watching? What's Young Boy uh, binge watching? Man, I'm boring. So what do you watch? Men but old shit. What's old to you? Because what's old to you might be. Like, um, I watch The Sopranos. Greatest, maybe top two show ever. 
Uh, I watched The Godfather just back to back. All three? Mm -hmm. Third one's the worst one, right? Yeah. Mm. I think it's like one. It's kind of the best to see is growth, but you learn that like it kind of give you the thought of that's why you need to stay dangerous. That's true. That's why. That's why you need to stay dangerous. Um. So you love Sopranos. Yeah. What about Breaking Bad? You ever watch Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, I watched that with my wife. Uh, um, a couple episodes. Probably yeah, a couple episodes. I like it. Breaking Bad's crazy. The Wire's another one. If you love Sopranos. I watched The Wire too. Did you finish it? Yeah, I probably, I watched it twice. The whole, like, each, Me every too. season. Me too. I just rewatched it when the pandemic first started. I showed my wife. And it made me realize, like, I don't know, it just got better the second watch. Like, Omar Little has got to be one of the greatest, uh, like, TV characters ever. Like, mm -hmm. Who was your favorite character on The Wire? Bodie. Bodie, man. The story of Bodie, man. Shout out to Bodie. And he lasted so long in the show, too. Yeah, he just ain't catch his cut at the right time. He didn't, man. That's real. You should, I feel like somebody should do, it could be you, could, anybody should do a song from the perspective of Bodie. Like, I think that would be crazy. <laughs> Cause he, man, Bodie was, well, he, like, he hung around. He survived for so yeah. long in that show. He had it hard too. He was fucking over on that. For sure. That's dope, man. Yeah, so The Wire's my favorite show of all time. What about uh, video games? What are you playing right now? Watch Dogs. Um, Not Watch Dogs. Red Dead and Madden. Red Dead Redemption is amazing. Um, we were talking earlier about it when you were on your horse, but if you're on Madden, what's your what, what's what, what squad are you picking this year? I've been running, I've been running with the Dolphins a lot. Tyree just, Tyree Kill is a cheat code, right? Yeah, just they, man, that that team is like strictly speed on offense. My son murders me with Tyree Kill every single time. Yeah, he's kind of hard to guard. He's like the wide receiver, Mike. So back in the day, Mike Vick, when he was in Madden, Mike Vick was kind of the cheat code in Madden. What's up, man? And um, I feel like Tyreek Hill this year is the cheat code. Uh -uh. You get a high five? No. High five? Yeah. And I'm just having a one-year-old. My son's 18. My son just turned 18. I got a little grown-ass yeah, man. Yeah. That's his favorite word. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 yeah pound it. There we go. Yay. You're learning your words. You, you want the hat again? You can have it for a sec. It's bright, though. Hey, what up, y'all? Uh, I'm excited because I'm going to be flying to Tampa to DJ the Odd Sox holiday party next week. And, of course, as y'all know, Odd Sox, our OG sponsors, our family, the most comfortable socks in the world. Want to give much love to Odd Sox for always holding us down at the Bootleg Head Podcast. Now, it is the holiday season. There ain't nothing like getting you a pair of Odd Socks for your loved one, getting some underwear, getting a hat, whatever you're into. They got it. OddSocksOfficial.com. Promo code bootleg. Save 20 percent off 20 percent off at checkout right now all the licenses wwe uh i mean hooters oh some hooters underwear let's take a peek at these huh bunch of fucking owls all over here there we go Mmm, i like it what about chucky ain't nothing like some chucky socks during the christmas you know hey whatever you're into they got it oddsocksofficial.com use the promo code bootleg right now Save 20% off uh, and enjoy the most comfortable socks in the world. Also, I'm going to give a shout out to our family over there. King Palm. Now, that's the thing about King Palm. What I love about King Palm, no tobacco, no nicotine. We're talking about straight, natural leaf, organic leaf. All right? And, and, and the cool thing is they got these terpene-infused tips. When I tell you they're terpene-infused, I mean it. Like, I love these ones. Shout out to uh, Sugar Shane. Sugar Sean, fuck, almost fucked his name up. Uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley from Phoenix. Uh, he's got his honey orange here. How it works, you load that thing up with your cannabis flower. You got that flavorful tip inside. Bam. That's what it looks like when it's all done. It's like a work of art, ladies and gentlemen. It's a work of art. All right? Go to your local smoke shop. 
Wherever you're at, they got King Palm. Go ask for King Palm. Thank me later, okay? King Palm, local smoke shop, 7-Eleven, they got them. Or you can just go to the website. Check this out. Go to the website, kingpalm.com. Take care of somebody in your life that you love and get 50% off everything you order at kingpalm.com using the promo code bootleg, 50% off. That's half off. Half off, kingpalm.com. You see the brightness? Hey. Oh, thank you for putting it back on my head. You're so polite. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I wonder, man, like, you know, when we think of, like, Mount Rushmore of, of this rap shit, and like I told you earlier, you've, you've kind of done something that not a lot of people have done, and you've been extremely successful in a very shallow business. Um, without, without being, you know, kind of sticking to your, 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 your beliefs, sticking to who you are the whole time. Are you kind of like self-aware to realize that like you are kind of, you are on the Mount Rushmore of like this hip hop shit that lasts like 10 years. Like you are like up there. You are the Pac of our generation for so many people. I never seen them sit. So it's like, I got a long ways to go. I, I don't know, I just want to go into they sit and it's molded. But who's they? The industry. Fuck. You know what the industry is? That's the people. I think so many people say it. Now, whether or not there are people who put together these end of the year rap lists and these quote unquote tastemakers, you have so many people, real people, going to work every day, taking care of their kids every day who say it. And to me, that's the shit that matters. I be on a regular job sometime. Like a construction company, but I just sit in the office every day, just all day. Just relax, be a regular person? Yeah. So if you could do any sort of a regular job, you'd have a, be con having a construction company? Yeah. Could you ever see yourself like, I mean, retiring? Is that even something, in, you're 24 years old. You have, I don't even know how many albums at this point. A lot. Could you ever see yourself, like does, do you have thoughts about what happens after rap? I'm kind of set on going to jail right now, so I don't really think about too much. Hey, you want me to put you over here? When you say you're, you're, you're set on going to jail, what, what do you mean? Like going back? Like you think that that's just in your fate? Um, I guess that was my life. I, mean, I don't let it bother me or no shit like that. You create the bed, you, you know, you, you make the bed you lay. So you, that's kind of where your head's at when you think of the future, still. That's, that's interesting, because I, I do think, uh, shout out to Donnie Brasco that's on too right now. Shout out to uh, Al Pacino, all time GOAT. Well, I think that you are somebody who has an immeasurable amount of influence and moreover power when it comes to this rap shit. Like, I had this conversation. Uh, are you familiar with an artist named Lil Russell? Lil Russell? He's from uh, Oakland. He does concerts in his backyard. Independent kid. Whoa. Okay. Um, but we were talking about it yesterday, and I was like, you know, there's a few artists in this game who, if they went independent, could break the music industry and really kind of expose it, right? And you were one of those names. I think it's you, I think it's Drake, I think it's The Weeknd, who really have the power to kind of like shift the industry. You've already done it in such a way, especially when it comes to YouTube, but you know, you're one of, you're, you're one of them, bro, you're him, bro. Like, you know, I think you, 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 uh, you definitely have a future outside of, of ending up yeah. back in jail. Hey, I really like hate this shit. You really have hate. It should take a toll on me. Yeah. My my wife. Your kids. Just the music industry. Being just, famous. Just I wouldn't blame it on the industry. It's all it's all about how you go about it. And I'm not that strong. That's important to uh, be self aware about, man. 
Accra la Lily You yeah. I made a point I know it's okay Like my wife I don't know bro. How, how much therapy Have you uh, Tried to go to I know we talked earlier You'd gone to rehab But therapy is an important um, Tool in anyone's box Not just yours But anybody's box You know it, To kind of Deal with some I mean not everyone's As strong as we try to Portray ourselves to be I, uh, I tried it when I was 18 It was court ordered And I, I finished it Um yeah, I think the court order shit's different, though. You know? Like, I think you could have... Do you remember... Listen, we're, you're a Sopranos guy. Remember Tony had a therapist? Yeah. You remember that? I thought that shit was going to get him killed before, she, I, before I actually finished the show. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But Tony went to therapy, man, and it helped him deal with so much because, you know, I always say this, like, for whatever reason, men in this world, we're not allowed to... Society doesn't, they frown upon us being hurt. They frown upon us having feelings. We're supposed to hold it together. We're supposed to hold down the kids. We're supposed to hold down our wives. We're supposed to pay the bills. And I feel like if you're the head of your household, if you're the head of your crew, if you're the leader, who do you talk to if you're going through some shit? You know what I'm saying? Do you have that person or do you just internalize it, put it out through the music? I don't even love music to that point no more where I run to the microphone. And no, I don't got that person to talk to. I think everybody should find that person. I think you should you should try to go back to therapy, man. Because I'm ha I have it um set on this Saturday. Oh you do, okay. You gotta be able to talk to somebody who doesn't already have kind of like their mind made up about you or who can't benefit off you, you know what I'm saying? So you can kind of get like a, you can kind of bear your soul to somebody. So. Ma. Ma. Hey, I can smoke a cigarette in here? What I can smoke a cigarette right here? I don't give a fuck about this. Huh? I'm trying to move in the middle of the water, kid. Middle of the water? Mm-hmm. Island? No. Like. You want to be on a boat? Yeah. Nice. And the only way you come to me is the helicopter fly off that bitch and grab you and come back. I like that. Like, literally, I want to live on the water. Like, but I really like this bitch. Like, God, man, this bitch ain't even my playground. Right. Like, I have my own guest shit like that. Other than that, like, yeah, I don't travel this house. That's crazy, man. So for you, like, because for people who don't know, you do, you're very secluded where you are. Um, when you say Grave Digger Mountain, like, we're literally, there, there's a mountain. You have a mountain. It's your mountain. But for you, like, secluding yourself even more is interesting. Just getting a houseboat, getting a yacht. Hey, if you want to see me, these are my coordinates. Pull up on a helicopter or we ain't talking. I told my wife that last night, she asked me how I'm going to eat. Fish. I say fish. She said you can't eat fish all day. Yeah, you can. I said I'll get, I get some food that's shipped to me, I guess. Yeah, you would have to, somebody would have to boat it to you. But that's not, I mean, I don't think that's uh, unrealistic. Are you, are you like, um... Hey, you could tell that I was smoke, like, no, no smoke coming this part of the house, right? No, I could tell, yeah, for sure. This is the first time you smoked in this part of the house? Man, actually, when I was looking for the, my clothes, looking for this suit earlier, man, I walked out that fucking studio smoking a cigarette, and I had to keep that door open. How long have you smoked? I've been smoking cigarettes since I was seven years old. Damn, my dad was like that. My dad tells everybody I've been smoking since I was eight. You want me to give this shit up? My dad got arrested when he was nine. And I think my, my um He tried to burn down his my house. My god dad, I think he was I think this nigga ran away from the army. <laughs> well, he can't you know how you get a home pass, I guess? Yeah. And that motherfucker ran away to New York New Orleans, cause he didn't want to go back. So I guess during, during the time like as he was at the house, mm -hmm. 
I used to be watching that nigga smoking cigarettes, and every time he throw that bitch, I go grab you it. Grab it, You'd, and you smoke what was left. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I did that one time. My dad threw a cigarette down. I was probably like seven, and I remember I picked that bitch up. I took a hit, and I threw. I was coughing so much, I threw up. And my mom was like, "See, that's what the fuck you get picking up a fucking cigarette." And ever since then, I was, I was out on it, man. I was out on it. I, I just want to be better than yesterday. It's important, man. I know, and I forget. I could, if I get this same amount of money and, and run and go away, I would. So for you, your interest, like, like, it's almost like if I can get this, get to this certain goal, whatever it may be, you're comfortable with just disappearing. For sure, for sure. Once all this behind me, mm -hmm. move to Europe or some shit. Once the legal stuff is is out of your way, yeah, we just, might not hear from you. All this put behind me. Oh, you gonna hear from me? But we don't know where you are. <laughs> I think you always know where I'm at too. Okay. Is it been? It's been what three years now since you've been dealing with the current situation? Almost three. Yeah. Is it wearing on you yet, man? I'm sure at times it's got to be tough to kind of just feel confined. I mean, obviously you have a nice place, but it's still... Yeah, but I, I got it better than... I got it better than so many people. For sure, who are stuck in their apartment, who are stuck... Oh, uh, uh, stuck inside a fucking city going to the club. <laughs> if it we get... Yeah, the club, man. I don't get it anymore. I got it. I got, I got everybody's approval who I love and who I like to be around. That's important. They come when I call. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't wake up in no cell. Now, you have a beautiful property, man. Yeah. You got beautiful animals, you got beautiful children, your, your wife's here. Right. Right you got a maid, man. Hey, we literally could hit that trail and go all the way behind this mountain. Hey, we got to stop the interview real quick, man. Shout out to our family at my bookie. NFL season is winding down. You still got some regular season uh, games you can get in on. Of course, the college bowl games are coming up. <sighs> so much money to get. Plus, the cash prize is going down in their weekly blackjack tournaments at mybookie.ag. And uh, this is what's going on, right? Uh, my bookie's crazy because they're doing this. If you sign up right now at my bookie, use the promo code bootleg. All right. Claim your deposit match redeemable up to $1,000. That's right. They're going to match your first deposit up to $1,000 using the promo code bootleg. Claim your bonus NFL college bowl game. So much going on in terms of what you're trying to get down with if you want to gamble, if you want to bet. All right. They got blackjack. They got roulette. They got it all. Uh, and of course, the best odds anywhere online when it comes to your sports betting needs. So one more time. Sign up right now with that promo code bootleg. Um, and, and I'm going to tell everybody this. Uh, you're going to get your first deposit matched up to $1,000. I'm going to put my money. I'm feeling good about the 49ers future bet right now. Slam the Niners to win the Super Bowl. I think they're taking that whole shit. Bet anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Also, shout out to our good folks over at Blue Chew. Make sure you go over to bluechew.com right now. A lot of people asking me, yo, man, Blue Chew, does that shit work? Yeah, it works, man. Find out for yourself, though. Blue Chew's legit. Same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis. But if you want to know if it works, they're going to take care of you with your first month for free by using the promo code bootleg at bluechew.com. Bluechew.com, use that promo code bootleg and get your first month for free. This is how it goes down. No awkward doctor's visits. None of that. If you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, you're dealing with too much stress, maybe you're drinking a little too much, you got the whiskey dick, I don't know, huh? Blue Chew got you, all right? BlueChew.com, promo code bootleg. Sign up right now. Get your first month supply for free delivered right to your doorstep for only $5 in shipping. It's crazy to see, like, the things that, like, you know, your environment changes you. It teaches you things. Like, for you, like, do you feel like you've kind of adopted, like, being, like, an outdoorsman a bit? Because I feel like you, you got to kind of in, embrace nature. If I want to really here. get into it. Like, I want to learn how to fill my backpack up on my own, go up in the mountains, start a fire, cook something, eat it, yeah. come back. Like survive. Yeah. You ever watch those shows on Netflix where they're naked and they have to survive in the middle of nowhere? I, I, I glanced at them a couple times. It's intriguing because you'll see how they start fires. You'll see how they like, they'll catch fish. They'll, I mean, no, that's so... So you might, that, that might be a nice little side mission for, for you just to kind of, you know, hey, we're going to go to the forest for a day. We're going to camp. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna catch our food. 
I had a bobcat jump out on us uh, uh, up there one day. A bobcat? What happened? Did, did it run off? Man, that bitch, that bitch tried to get to the can now. That bitch Lily tried to run into it. It was me and Lil Dump. Did it run off? Did it survive? I ain't even looked to see where it went. All we see was it covered out the bushes I'd be and worried I kept about, food. I'd be worried about bears, bro. Have you seen any bears up here? No. I really think I saw a big print before. See, those bears are the ones, because they'll come in the house to look for food. I hope that don't never happen. Have you ever watched the, that Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Revenant, where he gets attacked by a bear from behind and he just gets fucking destroyed? No. It made me scared of bears forever. I'm you know, I'm an animal guy. I want to. I would like to pet a bear one day. You I'm know? scared of their speed. Yeah, ain't no getting away from this bitch. The speed and the force. Ain't no getting away, man. Man, nah, for sure, dude. I just That's think it's been fast like a go kart. I just think it's been dope, like, you know, to kind of see how you've been able to do so much from here. You've done so much since you've gotten out and since you've been in your current situation. That kind of would make me second guess a lot though. Mm. I was blessed to, I was blessed to get a bun and, and to be able to be put in this position. For sure. So I be saying to myself like, bro, if I do this up, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm fucked up. You see how they going about me now? So I'm pretty sure if I do anything like just against my Probation, yeah. that's my ass. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, man. They're, they're on top of you, for sure. You, you're definitely, uh, and that's gotta be, that's just gotta be stressful. Because at all times, you know, you're kind of under a microscope. Uh, it it kind of make, make you do right. It forces you to, to, to maybe not make certain decisions you would have made. Uh, do you think it works? Yeah. Do you feel like, um, once all this is behind you, you're going to the same output we're getting. Is that something that we're going to continue to get? Are you going to tour the country? Your fans haven't seen you live for I don't even know how long. I mean, you got to know if you did a tour right now, it's sold out arenas, 52 dates. If, if that's even something you would even want to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Going and seeing, seeing the fans? A year ago, I ain't, I ain't want to. If I probably got off our service, it probably would have took all the way to this time of life for me to go on stage. Mm. That's deep. I think that's my cheat code, staying off the stage. I don't disagree with you. A lot of artists, they, they, they really have, they, even if they don't want to go on stage, it's, it's you know, this is kind of how you really make money for most artists. But a lot of artists, they got great ass music, but it ain't gonna go if they don't touch that stage. Right. It ain't gonna go if they not on tour. You have broke, that's why I was, when I said earlier, like you, you really are, you know, an enigma when you think of the music industry because like you said, you, you haven't toured like most artists that are, as successful as you are and uh you do have kind of like i think you you know you you are you, you have a lot of power man you have a lot of influence on 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 this industry period i don't know a lot of people who were dropping music the way you drop music until you started doing it you know it's because a lot of artists mind fucked a lot of a lot of artists they don't play the game i play they worry about numbers I ain't never gave a fuck about no numbers. I'm part of the food chain. Hmm. Raw material, um, the supplier, then the buyer. Mm -hmm. And that's how all that shit add up like that. That's how, I, that's how when a nigga talk that shit, I can literally whip out a plate. And they got over 100 certifications on that bitch. So and you have it don't, a hundred? It don't stop there. A hundred. It don't stop there. A hundred gold and platinum records. It's like, it like man, it's like a. What place sell food for? Albertsons. Albertsons, Ralph's, uh, yeah. Smith's. You walk in Albertsons, you see all that motherfucking meat inside that freezer. You know damn well all of it ain't being bought 
But I could guarantee you it's one person walking in that store at least buying something from each category a day. Yeah. And it's going to add up. That's the game you're playing. I can't be fucked with. I don't disagree. Then hey, I always hey, numbers don't lie. No, they do not lie, man. And everybody numbers been played with. If you pay attention, there's only no more than five artists that did big numbers this whole year. This is true. Hey, and I guarantee you, out of them five, three of them artists' numbers was bought. I think that a lot of that is starting to get exposed. Man, fuck it, I ain't going that route. Yeah, I think a lot of. Uh, you know, the stream farms. There's a there's an artist that um you know, my boy from the label who he's working because I do radio, so he's he works he's working this record. I know my man ain't ain't not one thing scripted about me. Yeah. I ain't got no I ain't got nobody inside no label. No oh, I ain't got Jason telling me to go about something like this. No, for sure, man. I ain't for- shit scripted, so I know. Man man, this shit's this shit's so real. This shit real real life reality. No, I hey, the it. real ones are going to stick with me. They're going to fuck with me. For sure. Yeah, I think... All I've, through my flaws, they're going to run with me. And I think, you know, embracing your flaws, figuring out, like, kind of understanding what they are. That's the problem I got with this game today, bro. I'm one of them niggas. I ain't always been a stand-up guy in every situation. Oh, I ain't always been right. That's important to admit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, that's with every fucking man. No, you're right, though. Like, you know, me being here, had I, I, you just reached out to me one day. I don't know what interview you saw of mine, but you just said, ask me, like, do you enjoy what you do? And it was randomly. You and I have never met. Um, and I just hit you like, hey, dude, I'd love to talk to you one day. And, you know, we made it happen. So I, I appreciate you uh, opening up your home to me and, um, you know, inviting me out to Utah, man. It is cold as hell out here. <laughs> I almost ate shit on a, I wouldn't call it a snowmobile. It's like a snow scooter. Uh, a, a moon, a moon bike, whatever. A moon bike. That shit had me fucked up. My legs are really wet right now. Um, for you, man, talk about just you like. You say your legs wet. Oh, yeah. My shit's all I'm, the way up to here. I don't want fucking ass wet, man. I mean, we're, we are kind of sitting on a freshly clean couch. Right, right, right in that horse. Yeah, and then the couch is like clean. That's why we're sitting on these. It's damp, for sure. We're, all, we're damp right now. We're just in the snow, 100%. Very tough. Um, I was going to ask you, man, like uh, somebody who I think you, who is also very anti-industry, but is also very successful right now. And you have such a great chemistry and working relationship. You guys got a couple of songs that I love. is Rod Wave. He is a, a, an amazing guy. He's from St. Pete, which I lived there for a long time. That's somebody who will forever win in the game. Like, mm, I think he love what he do. He's so good at it, man. And I think he's so positive and so taking in the people. I ain't no way he could feel. That's real. You've been known to do a collab project here or there. Would you guys ever do a whole, uh, whole tape together? Maybe like a little EP or something? I think that'll be a setback for him. You think so? My image fucked up. Like, I think I gotta stay in my own lane. That's fair. You guys, you got some great, couple great joints together, though. He's, how often are you, like, discovering new artists? Because obviously you have your crew, you have your label, like, your artists, but are you, do you listen to much other music outside of your own stuff or your own guys? Like, are you tapped into, like, not really. I know about a lot of artists, though, that I think the world don't know about. Well, they, I just say they underground, but I like Yeet. You like Yeet? I was saying, like, that's like Yeet. Okay. Yeet, I don't think he underground no more. He was, but he's not now. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of more artists like that that's to come. Yeah, there's like guys like Destroy Lonely and Yeed and... Yeah, it's the Lonely Hard. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I feel like there's a difference between being like underground because you're not necessarily commercial, but I think once you get to the point where you're getting a billion streams, I don't know how underground you could be, you know? Because I think some people still consider you who are like just generic music fans, they might think that you're kind of like underground. underground. 
but you're not. You're one of the biggest artists in the world. You know what I mean? So that's because they live in a different world. Mm. That's true. They not into they not into nothing like me. I mean, you are one on one, man. I will say that. I don't think there's any denying that. Does it matter to you? The the because you said earlier when the industry says you are that, does does the recognition of the quote unquote industry from where you're at right now does it even matter at all? Even if it's a one percent. I'm paid. I don't give a fuck, and that's all I want to be. I told you, you gotta learn when the jokes is on you. We ain't, we ain't nothing but entertainment. And at the end of the day, we're the most lowest people on earth because we got an image to keep up. It's hard to be yourself. It is hard to be yourself. Man, you know how many niggas be want to come across that bitch and talk crazy about a woman, but 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 won't because they know that shit. Tear that image down, and a lot of people don't like that. So they not gonna speak their mind. And it's a whole lot of different situations, like, like, that's different than that. They be eating people up. But they got this shit down packed. They ain't gonna let nothing play with their image, I guess. Yeah, I think a lot of people get caught up in their image. I think a lot of people get caught up in their social media aesthetic, how they look online. Mm -hmm. It's like at the end of the day, if you could just unapologetically be yourself at all times, it, sh it should work out for you. You know what I'm saying? Or turn out bad. I mean, it could turn out bad. Would I mean, like. God, they go so tired, they get to start starting to feel like, oh, he really a piece of shit. But this nigga ain't got no no type of moral, morals or, or sympathy. But then again, they just don't know, like, you probably one of the most soft-hearted hearted people walking the earth. One of the most given ever. But all that shit don't matter when their opinion come about. I think society does a really bad job of judging people because mostly we judge people off their worst moments. I'm against society. But think about it like... I'm just, I just know today like hurting people ain't the way. It hurt to hurt somebody. Right. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. Nah, I, I mean, listen, I think, I think people like to judge people off of their low points in life. You might have a one bad night, make one bad decision. But I'm not, man, I swear, I, if I had, if, if it was anything to show you, I want you to see all my low points in life. No, you've been I very transparent with that. To, I wouldn't want you to see shit. Right. Oh, uh, you mentioned... You went to rehab recently. Um, is that something that has, has you found helpful? Yeah, I really, I really needed it, time. And I met some very cool people. And I was accepted in a way I never was before. So I love, I love, I love that place. Was it in a, like a 12 step meeting? Hmm. Did you do a, uh, like a 12 step meeting, like a? Where you like everyone sits down, everyone shares their thoughts. I've been I've been in a, they, some meetings they, before. They, I think they cleared the house out for me as I arrived, just to let me check it out. Yeah, it's important, man. I think uh, you know to be self aware enough to know, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go see somebody. It's important. I love being high. I think everyone loves being high. It's just what comes after that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, it's not the time. Right. It's not the time at all. Yeah, I love being high as well and drunk and all of that stuff. I've been in my own personal, you know, situations, with, especially with alcohol, man. Alcohol's a motherfucker, bro. Because you, you, you'll be having the best night of your life and it goes left like that. Tell me about it. Man, have you fucked up? Now you gotta, gotta go to court. I, I, I love to pop that shit when I'm, when I'm drunk. Yeah. I love to You pop, start drinking, I, you start. I love to pop that shit. When, when you, like, yeah. like. Bitch, I tell you about yourself. Oh, fuck you. Would you say, like, uh, you know, every, everybody's complicated. But a lot of times when we see you online, right, you, and, and you're popping your shit, is it mo like, let's say, not necessarily recently, but would you be like drinking at the time most of the time? Or? No, that's 100% me. I mean, listen, alcohol That's, brings out the truth. No, no, I'm talking about I'll be sober. Oh, okay. 
That's 100% me. I, I rarely let them catch me. Right? That's real? Nah, for real, for real. That 100% me. Is Fuck it, that yeah, that's how I'm really feeling. I love you. That's really genuine. Who are somebody, uh, you know, you've had some big homies in the rap game. Obviously, Birdman, uh, Kevin Gates, go on and on, shout to Gates. Who are some people who consistently check in on you and your well-being that aren't necessarily trying to get a feature, aren't trying to, you know, get something from you? Is there anybody at all in the music industry who... who... I don't really talk to nobody, but I to a, 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 a stunner most of the time. I can tell, boy, I can tell you about these niggas, though. Yeah, you just so hurt. Yeah, you just so hurt meeting somebody and finding out that that ain't it ain't. It ain't who you think they are. Nah, fuck no. Then a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga get the mad, you nigga get mad how thorough you is. Bitch, that nigga get to speaking on on you like 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 you ain't like you ain't who you say you is or something. So Birdman's been pretty consistent, you know, of making sure he. That's the five. Yeah. A legend. Obviously, I'm sure you learned a lot from him. I don't know, you know. He with anything I'm on. Literally. Shout out to Birdman, man. How's the, uh, I know you just dropped an album, you just dropped an, another single. Um, with your current situation, I know you got like a one of one type of situation. Um, how long is, 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 is your deal with, with, with Motown, Capital? Cause you could burn through it. I feel like you could burn through a record contract in like three months if you, mm -hmm. if you really wanted to, like a traditional one, obviously. But that's the problem. That's the problem. Like I'm, I'm, I'm caught up right now. Like so you, you're free to do whatever you want, obviously. Yeah, but I ain't trying to give out shit free, cause, nah, I see they ain't trying to take care of me. So everything gotta be counted for, or drop me, and. Let me show you some shit. Would you ever consider going fully independent with, your, with building an infrastructure and a team out where you can just say, I'm gonna do me? My life ain't set up that way. Mm. I'm down for it though, I, can't, I ain't gonna fail. But shit. Like one day maybe. Maybe not currently. Yeah, hopefully one day, but I want, I, I want that money, man. I mean, money's important, man. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do what we do, right? Sometimes that's the only thing. And in some situations, that, that's the only thing that got your back. The money? Your money. That's some real shit. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you having me out. I appreciate you for coming, bro. I had a great time here, bro. <laughs> I think we were supposed to make a song, but we'll do it another time, I guess. Me too. Um, I look forward to... Uh, to just seeing the rest, I mean, look, 2024 is coming. I know you're gonna have a big year. Um, I just appreciate the hospitality, man. I know you don't do a lot of these, so it's a big deal, you know, for me to be up here, to me. So thank you, and um, I just, man, for sure, bro. It, it was come a fun back. time. I'll, come back anytime I'll, without I'll, the camera. Yeah, for sure, I'll come back with the camera, I'll bring my kid with me, you know what I'm saying? We'll hop on the horse. That's hard, for yeah. sure. Go sleigh riding with the dogs. The sleigh riding. That sounds fun. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to put together right now for my video. Let me know. I'll pull up, man. I'll have to bring the kid, no cameras. We'll just have fun. Bring the gray digging trucks. I got a lot of RC cars. Yeah, you got the cam ams and everything. Yeah, no, no, for sure. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you an actual grave digger truck. For sure. A monster truck. It's a monster truck, you know that, right? My dream is the um Turn a Rolls Royce truck into a grave digger. Oh, that'd be fucking crazy. I mean, I'm sure you could just make that happen tomorrow if you want to. <laughs> you just got to find the guy to do it, you know? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man. Stay safe. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I love to see your growth, man. You know, I think that's something that I've, I've publicly said in interviews. Like, I just love to see when people are self-aware and they grow because who we are yesterday and who we are today and who we're going to be tomorrow is not who we are today. So... Much love, bro. Appreciate you, man. For sure, man. Thank you. Young boy. Fat. Can we show some love to our family at Hardeen? Man, shout out to Hardeen, man. Look, if you're in Vegas, you got to pull up. You got to say, take me to Hardeen right now. I need to go to Hardeen. 
They're going to take you. They're going to get you situated. Hardy in Las Vegas, the best cannabis uh, dispensary I've ever walked into in my life. The most craziest selection of premium cannabis in the entire world. I mean, that place smells like God's uh, sweat. It feels, it just smells so good in there. It's just, oh, they got their own scent. They're our family too, man. So make sure you follow them online, Harding underscore Las Vegas, all right? Shoot them a follow on uh, Instagram. Also go to HardingLasVegas.com. And when you're in Vegas, make sure you pull up to Hardeen, baby.